Okay, so uh, let's continue on where we left. So here we have a single degree of freedom system again. So uh, in this example, or in this structure, the uh, uh, structure is assumed to move only in one direction, that is on the lateral direction, and that the vertical component or the vertical supports are infinitely rigid. So, muna siyang dili siya mo deform or move in the y direction. And then, there is no movement on the z direction. Only on horizontal or the lateral direction. So, since the structure is moving, like for this example, the structure is moving to the right, we have a displacement or we have a de deformation. So, the lateral deformation here is symbolized by the function u of t. So, it means you know, that uh, the deformation also varies through time. So, we call this the lateral deformation. So, uh, this one, you know, that is a vector quantity. So, it means it has a position and it has a magnitude. Or other uh, pag symbol the uh, vector quantity is nakabold ang letter. So we have here you know, a deformation as a function of time. As a function of time. Okay, moving on. So we have here you know, uh, some examples of structures or simple structures which can be idealized as a uh, SDOF or SDF systems. So we have here a water tank with a mass on the top bow supported by a column. Uh, also this one, no? we can idealize this as a concentrated mass on the topmost of the structure supported by a column. Same also with this system. Okay. So let's go back with our idealized structural system. So since this is a, an idealization, uh, with this idealization, let's try, you know, uh, let's try to investigate or experiment. Uh, let's say uh, the simple structure, so initially at rest, is uh, displaced laterally by a distance u naught. So uh, in this one, you know, we try to symbolize or notate our distance or displacement by u. Uh, at times, we can also use x, diba. So, in, uh, if, you, if we recall our dynamics of rigid bodies or our in the lower years, uh, we try to use s for a one-dimensional system. We also have the x and the y, like in our projectile, no, we have the x and the y in a position. And then, in the rectangular components, na ano din tayo z and the r. But later, later on, later on, later on, I uh, discuss. For this, uh, for this uh, example, so lang discussion, uh, I will try to use the letter u for our deformation or the lateral displacement. So, uh, let's say the structure, the idealized structure, we allow it to move or to be displaced laterally with u naught. So, when you say u naught, this is our initial displacement. And then, after displacing it at this specific distance or deformation or displacement, uh, it is, it was deleased. So, sa may may tabo. Si structure, di ba na ay mass uh, on, the, on its uh, topmost part? We have a mass here, concentrated mass. And then, the columns, uh, though infinitely rigid on the vertical direction, it is flexible on the lateral direction. So the columns we have here, the stiffness K. So if you recall now, the stiffness K, diba, we have a restoring force F. So we have a force F, restoring force F is equal to negative kx. Now, if you recall the, the dynamics of rigid bodies, we have this uh, restoring force is equal to negative kx. So, asa man yung natin makita at 
we uh, usually see this one with the spring. So, uh, let's say the, uh, the spring has a restoring force. And then, if magbutang kag mas ala niya, di ba? Si mas is makaina siya ni spring. So, uh, this spring will be displaced. And then, this spring has a constant of proportionality K. We call this our stiffness or the stiffness of the spring.